What's up guys, Court Order here. If you saw last week's video, we got on this new farm that is just riddled with cool relics from about 100 years ago. Turns out this farm was a dump back in the 20s and 30s, and there is just stuff everywhere. I think we found 12 tokens, all sorts of religious charms, silver coins, wheat pennies out the wazoo, skeleton keys, all sorts of crazy things. Well, guess what? We're back again, and we pick right up where we left off. We just keep pushing back, and the stuff goes on forever. Me, Dog Tag Doug, PA Pirate Paul, Just Silver Joe, and Jackpot Jeff, we just kill it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end. Later. This right here is my hall. I didn't even get it filling it in. I swung up. There was another signal right here. I pulled it out. Look at this one. That one's kind of neat. It's another charm, and it's like a sun shape. It's cool. And it's got a big has, writing I right in the saw middle. Writing. It is right in the middle. L A N D O N Landon. I wonder if that was a uh, pin that went through that one. This might be a pin. I think it says Landon. L A N D O N. Hmm. And this is like brass, I think, like thin brass. Yeah, it looks like that's cool, man. So it turns out this pin is much cooler than I thought. This is actually a campaign pin for the 1936 presidential election. The guy's name was Alf Landon. He was the governor of Kansas, hence the sunflower, because Kansas is the sunflower state. He ran against Franklin Roosevelt for Roosevelt's second term, and Roosevelt was incredibly popular. He pulled us out of the Great Depression. He had the New Deal, which put hundreds of thousands of people to work, created Social Security. It was a landslide loss for poor Alf Landon. Hey, back then there was only 48 states and poor Alf Landon only won two. He didn't even win his home state of Kansas. Oh man, what a devastating loss. But come on, when you're going up against FDR after he pulled the country out of the depression we were in, man, it's like getting in a street fight with Jesus. You don't have a shot. But an incredible piece, an incredible piece of American history and an incredible piece of political memorabilia. I love it. It's amazing. So uh, in the bag she goes. Let's go find some more cool stuff. How crazy is this? How many religious medallions is this, Paul? Five? Was this a monastery? This was down about maybe six inches long, and I pulled up and I saw how big it was, and that's a good size one too. And this one's not broken either. Look, you can see the the, the hoop up at the top. That's a nice one. Look, it's a whole giant standing virgin mother it's a giant look at this look at that that thing's enormous yeah there's the cross with the uh, m over it i forget what that stood for immaculate mary i think that's what it was doug m and m not m and m i and m or uh, yeah I magic mike <laughs> and it's not even broken that's crazy it's a big sucker nice. too you did a good job yeah i got three charms already you have one or two i think paul's hey. got one or two if Doug would get himself a charm, we could I call it a day. <laughs> oh, he did get a spoon. You'll never eat out of that again. <laughs> oh, nice find for me. I do like it. I'll clean it up later and uh, try to read what it says. Shout out to you. All right, Paul's got something else. Is it another charm, Paul? Yeah, it looks silver, but... Oh, what is that? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I can't tell. Looks like a token or silver. Well, I can't even see what it might be. It, it, it sure looks like it would be a dime. It looks like it'd be like a, a real. Like a real. Like <laughs> yeah, but that would be surprising. Go ahead, I'll let you pop it out and we'll take a look. It, I can't. If it's a dime, I can't tell what that back is unless it's just so dirty I can't see it. It's like a barber. Is it really? Yeah. You're right. It is a barber. Is it? Yep, it's a barber dime. Son of a gun. It didn't even ring high. It looks like the date has got black on it, it but it's, thin, eight, it's 18 know? something. So you got a nice old one there, 18 something or other. Wow, it is really t dark. Real. Are you. Nah, it's got to be a barber. Yeah, it's a, bar yeah, it's uh. a barber. 
<laughs> Good job, buddy. Look how dark it is. I can't even see the date, Joe. It just says, it looks like it says 18 something. 1901, I think. Oh, 01? It looks like a, a 1901. All right, well, I have my glasses on. Where'd he go, man? Thanks. It wasn't high. Dude, yeah. we're not yeah. high. <laughs> He's Colin McLeod at a Clam McLeod. There's Paul's uh, Barber Dime. You're right, wow. 1901. <laughs> and there's no mint mark on it, Paul, that I see. Chunk of yeah. frozen. Way to go, man. Well done. Oh, one. Can you see? Up, uh, oh, what'd you get? Well, that's my, uh, I couldn't see the date. Oh, another wheat? The way it was, it looked like a real. 1919, yeah, Doug. That's the second 19. It's in nice I shape, got. too. 1919 was a really high yeah, mintage listen, year. Slick. Yeah. Good job, man. Yeah, we, in the clump, it looked like a real. It was so uh, war. Yep, 1919. Well, we're getting some older coins at least, yeah. you know, 20th century older Did you coins. Get that all the way up there? Oh, my glass case. Well done, fellas. Good job, All right, Joe just got another fine. Now, we're not going to count. I don't know if we should count this as a token or not, but it's one of those smushed things, and you can see it says Atlantic City at the bottom, New Jersey, which is only about a half hour from here. And right above my thumb, you can see it looks like a woman standing, looking out. I think you're right, Joe. I think that's a boat out in the harbor. It's pretty cool. I mean, it might just be a souvenir squish penny, but I'm going to guess this is probably 80 to 100 years old. Yeah. So it's probably an old squished wheat penny. We can't tell. With that backing, right? But, yeah. All right, Dougie Fresh called over. He gave me the big silver sign. Oh, yeah. It looks like, oh, it is. It looks like a barber quarter. It is. That's what I told you. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't hear you. No all wonder way. that's why I said it. <laughs> it looks it like, like one. Yeah. Let's take a look. Could possibly be a cat bus quarter, but I'm going to go with barber oh, quarter. Please, <laughs> I'm not that lucky. It's oh, yeah, it's, it's a barber. nice shape, too, Doug. Hopefully, there's a lot of detail 18, on it. Yeah, hopefully, it's 1800. It is 18. No, really? 1893. First oh. year, of the, first 92. year, yeah. 1893. Wow, look at that. The ribbon, the hair is beautiful. All the stars, same toning that they're all coming well, out of the ground, like this know, blackish toning. I'm going to kind of give it a little rub and just see if I can see a mint mark. I'm not sure. That's a Do beautiful coin. You want me to coin. squirt it with the quarter order water? If you want to. If yeah, you want to. I, I don't have mine with All me. All right. Let's uh, squirt it down. We'll kind of take a look and uh, look for the mint mark. Hang on. Quarter order water. <laughs> oh, the sun. In need, in need of a new. Uh... I know. I keep forgetting. <laughs> and while we're waiting, Doug got something cool. I'm sorry. Joe got something cool. And just a big number 12. What do you think that might be? I'm thinking. Like a Sesame Street uh, episode? Oh, there's writing on the back. There's real small writing down here, Joe. It was a pin. You oh, think? yeah, I see the pin. Yeah, I see yeah. it. So. These, you got... Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. American Hotel. Look at that. Look on how... Oh, yeah, there is pottery everywhere. American oh, hotels. yeah. Yep, I see. This looks like it was, I Don't guess, a coffee too mug. I'm going to put it right there for a second, Paul. Let me see how... No, no mint? No. Hold that. Hold your, uh, token, your uh, number 12 thingy. Thank no you. mint mark, no. I love the color on it though, Doug. Oh, yeah. Beautiful yeah. coin, 1893. This is the first year, 1893? No, 1892. Oh, okay, okay. And no mint mark, but man, what a beautiful find. Yeah, and it rang up nice. Really? Yeah, all mine have been scratchy. Everything I've been digging all day, scratchy, scratchy, but we're getting some cool relics. I flicked it out on my last shovel. It's about, it was about five inches deep. Really? Well, it was the best five inches you've had in a long time, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the pirate's got something he called me over. Is it another surface find? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I see it! <laughs> Darn! That's our third surface find marble. I wonder if yours is going to be multicolored. Yeah. Mine it was two different colors. Doug's was clear. Yours is one color. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> You said you wanted a marble. Silver yeah, yeah, after you got your well, you got a silver dime at least. Yeah. Wow, three marbles in the day. That's nuts. It doesn't even look really round. Hey, they could be old. I mean, some of the stuff yeah. we're finding goes back to early 1900s. It could be 100 years old. <laughs> that's a cool find. I like the skeleton key on the surface yeah, better, yeah. but that's still a nice one. Thank you, sir. Uh, Joe gave a silver signal from across the field. That's a little one, another dime size. Yep. Oh, yours is dark too, just like Paul's uh, was. Yeah, we know it's a mark. Oh, you saw? Oh, yeah, I did saw, see yeah, it. Wow, yeah. look at the color on it though. Yeah. Let me black. see it. It's black. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Jason dismissed me, but I think that's a decent one. Yeah, I think it's black as could be. Were you able to get a date off of it, Jason? Nah, nah. I could try and think, but. 
look today. Wow, yeah, it is really discolored. Let's clean up. We'll get a date off it and come right back, and I'll see what the heck Doug's uh, ju the jug. <laughs> Jeff's cleaning up next. Take it like that. Gold. There's just Silver Joe's silver. 1920 Mercury dime. I like the color on it, you know, just from, you know, sitting in the ground so long. And it's very sunny today, so I apologize if it's not showing up well. I don't see a mint mark, though. Great job, Joe. I did predict four silvers in the day. And if your spoon was silver, that's actually five. Yeah, because I think it's silver. And let me see you're clean up there, Jeffrey. Only my mother calls me Jeffrey. Well, now yeah, two people do. Take a look and see. You can see I even whacked it. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. So the yeah. ground was so frozen. It's very heavy. Tell me that. And it's bang. I ran into it. Yeah, I think it's a handle off. I'm going to say it's a handle off like a skillet. Or, or a one liter pot. Or a one liter pot. All right, I got something here. I thought it might have been silver. Maybe it's not. I, I'm hoping it's going to be a coin, but I could see it was bit. Oh, it looks like it's broken, too. It feels light, actually, Joe. Yeah, yeah it might be aluminum. Yeah, I thought it was silver because it looked shiny, yeah, that little piece sticking out. But I think it's an aluminum token. Looks token, like. yep, absolutely. And I see some writing coming through on it. All right, let me clean it up and I'll come right back and we'll see what the heck it is. All right, there's my token. I'm actually really excited about this one. It's aluminum. It's in bad shape, but that doesn't matter. At the bottom, it says play money. And most play money tokens aren't that good. But if you look up at the top, it says... Mazuma, and that is really cool. Mazuma was a company owned by the American Chickle Company from the early 1900s, most famous for the Chicklets bubble gum, the little candy covered breath mint gums. You know, they still make them today, I think. But in the 1930s, they branched out and started the Mazuma Gum Company. And to kick off Mazuma Gum, in every little box of gum came one of these tokens, which were American heroes of the time. Some of the notable ones were Buffalo Bill and John Paul Jones and Ben Franklin and Robert E. Lee. And this token here, which is of Admiral Dewey. Now, Admiral Dewey might not be the household name that the other guys were, but back then he sure was. He was the leading admiral of the Navy in the late 1800s. In 1900, he ran for president of the United States. So super popular guy back then. This is the first token I've gotten from the Mazuma Gum Company series. And it was not out very long, I think one year, maybe two years. So really hard to find, especially in the ground. So condition aside, this is an incredible token. I love it. Can't wait to clean it up a little better and add it to my collection forever. Man, Admiral Dewey, love it. Well, at least another cool thing for the finds box. Man, I don't even know how many tokens and medallions and stuff we think we've got today. I think four silver coins. It's probably only like one o'clock. We got about four hours left and it's so easy to dig through the sandy soil. And for a January day, it's not even all that cold. I think Doug's taking a lunch break. Paul's working his way up there too. So it's just me, Joe, and Jeff out in the field. But hopefully we'll represent, find more cool things. All right, Just Silver Joe's got himself a cool relic. I recognize it, Joe, only because I dug probably eight or nine of them and I have them in my display case. This is the handle of an old razor. Ah, okay. It would twist on the right. old Gillette, you know, the kind that had the the, the curved top yep. that you'd slide the blade into. I see now. And just the head's not on there. But that's what it is. I, only because I have a whole bunch of them. And I think mine even said Bic on it or Gillette, whatever the, yeah. whatever the big company was back then. Hmm. That's a nice find. Yeah, they would save these because they would just toss those heads yeah. out and save you. these forever. So, hey, well done, man. It's in good shape. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. All right, Doug, he's fresh, says he's got himself a thimble, and it might be silver? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. No, it's not silver. It's going to be aluminum only because it's an advertising one. Oh. And we found know. these before, because it's got, I can see it. It says, oh. Clement, let me see this side, National, National something Clement. I can't quite read the whole thing because it's bent. Yeah, we found a bunch of these. The aluminum ones all have these advertising things. They were real popular. I don't think they advertised them on the silver ones. Uh huh. But can you see the band at the bottom? Oh, yeah, yeah, now I do. Yeah, National something Clementines, maybe? It's like a, those little oranges. oranges you yeah. like them, don't you? Oh, I love them. Yeah, I think they're pretty juicy. Well, this is pretty juicy too, though, Doug. Yeah. Nice, fine. 
Yeah. There's all sorts of knickknacks, paddy wax, and <laughs> all sorts of just interesting things today. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to get away from the colonial a little. Yeah, I mean, it mixes camp, it up. You know? you know what I mean? How many King Georges can you have? But yeah. you can never have enough <laughs> advertising thimbles. Oh. Well done, Dougie Fresh. Yeah, man. All right, Doug. I had a screamer, which is really nice. A lot of them have been choppy with the aluminum. This one sounded nice and crisp. I went down about four inches of dirt, flung it up, and as I was fishing through it, my pin pointer, this popped out. Now it's about it the size. Like a copper. Yeah, but I'd be really surprised if it's, if it's a copper. Is it completely round? Oh, yeah, it's yes, round it is. and it's thin. Ah, oh, there's a hole in the middle. Chinese copper. Well, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe like a a washer. No, I, I see writing on it. Maybe you like do? a knob for like a washing machine oh, or something. Oh yeah, I do see the writing. It sure looked like a coin though, uh, Joe. I'll say. Now Kinda I see like writing this. up here. <laughs> I found that before. Oh, there's writing on this oh. side too. I'm gonna clean it up and see what it says. Yeah, man, this is the best sounding signal I've had in a long time too. And I thought I might have a quarter or something, but nope, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, there's the thing that I thought was a coin until I saw the hole come out. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can get it in the shade over here. There we go. Looks like it says perks at the top, P-E-R-K-E-S, and then Phila at the bottom. We're not far from Philadelphia. I think it's the same on both sides. I can see just the perks on this side. And maybe a little bit of Philadelphia. I have no idea what it is. I'll look up perks when I get home, figure it out. But man, at first glance, I thought it was a big old copper. But I might still turn out to be cool. Find out later. Dog tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fond Doug. Live dig time. Live dig Doug. Live dig Doug. Doug's got him. Oh, mine was an 86. On yours, probably like a 30 or so? 29, 30. 29, 30. Wait, where Same numbers that I got for the uh, Oh, for quarter. his quarter. So he's going to hope. It's right on this little ridge where the tractor came down. So we're going to take a look and see. It's like digging on the beach today, isn't oh, it, Doug? Yeah, now it is. Yeah. It was, it was frozen this morning, frozen but it's starting to... It brutal. It is starting to work its way out. All right, let's see. Oh, it's kicking up all the dust in my face. But oh, I'm, I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> All right, that All should right. have gotten it. All right, let's see. Yep. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Through your headphones, I heard it. All right, let's see if it's something good. I hope it isn't that. That was Oh. Uh oh, I see something big moving. <laughs> it might just be a clump. Yeah, that was the clump. Up. I still see something big moving. It is. Dun, dun, dun. What the heck is it? It's not a quarter. It's like a... Stop banging it with your, with your $150. Uh... <laughs> Can't be that old. It's got a screw top. Yep, yep, yep. I think it might be off like an old lamp or something. Yeah, like that's a, what like it a... looks like. Yeah. A decorative piece. Yeah, it's decorative. But... It's thin. It's. Uh, I can see why it sounded so good. Yeah. Well, is that copper or brass? Would you say? Uh, let color? me taste. Let me taste it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> brass and copper. It all tastes the same. Good find. All right. Well yeah, done. Sure. All right. Joe's got himself a dog tag. We are out farther than everybody else. Everyone else is way back in by the house. Right on the surface. Oh yeah, that is a dog tag. Looks like it says thirty-four. Montgomery County, PA. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, Montgomery County, PA. I do see, yep, 1934, right above the PA. I mean, it's not too far from here, but it's still, it's, yeah, yeah, different state. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, it did get hit by the plow, but those are awesome. We love the dog tags. Doug's going to be sad that he didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> he did get a barber quarter, though, so he yes. can't complain. Beautiful find. Nice yeah, job, did. man. Another surface yeah, find? Yeah, it was right, I guess with my foot then, and it kicked Some it, of the so best things on the, of the day were on the surface. <laughs> Crazy. That's an old one, too. That's a nice one. What's up, guys? No, no. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It was early, Doug. This is no, no. We're all tired. Yeah. We're doing the uh, tailgate wrap up. We found a lot of interesting things today. So uh, here's some of my interesting things: little candle holder, lots of weird glass, um, cool lid that's got writing on it. Don't know what that is. Spoon. Uh, the token that might say Perks Philadelphia. 
got one silver quarter, a couple rivets. I got the Landon pin. I got the Taurus pin. Admiral Dewey token, religious medallion, lipstick case. Uh, come over here. This is Paul. Yep. Paul got a marble. Paul got oh, that 50 cent token. 50 cent. Good for 10 cents off no, something or other. Colgate, the guy cents. fishing with a spear token. Uh, that thing, we're not sure. It might be a jeans button, underwear button. A um, couple of interesting things. The piece of brass. The skeleton key, which might be, Paul, yeah, that's my favorite find of the day on the surface. It turns out it's a what, Doug? Uh, it's a Victrola. Um, phonograph. Oh, okay. Phonograph. It didn't lock up the, so the kids didn't yeah, get right. in? And, it was and, in a cabinet. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. But beautiful, though. And it was gold plated at one time. Was it? It, it was, looks incredible. It was so the kids wouldn't play Led yeah. Zeppelin. It does. It looks good. Uh, oh, and then Paul got uh, Barbara Dime. What was the year on it, Paul? I think 01. 01. Yeah. 01. Uh, a couple of wheats for Paul. Uh, this is Jeff. He did get here late. He got that fancy lid. Don't know what it's to. Well, is that, is is that a roach clip? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, it's like a handle to what a pot. What was this coin? Uh, it doesn't have a coin. Oh, what's that? It's a, re it's a corroded religious... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this he's is he's uh, Joe's, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Joe got two of these uh, doohickeys, and they say Chevrolet on yes. them? Yes, they do. So we don't know what the heck that might be. Uh, Joe hard. and I tag team on the razor. He found the handle, I found the head. I'm going to give it to you, Joe. Merry Christmas. All right, thank you, buddy. Uh, this fancy brass discussion... He's got a, a utensil handle there, spoon, fork sort of a thing. What's that up there, Joe? A uh, modern quarter? Yep, modern quarter. Uh, the 1934 dog tag. Uh, this token was slick, right? Yep. This was the Atlantic City squish penny. Yep. Joe got, looks like, five wheat pennies, maybe a picker's token, religious medallion, some sort of a button knob thing. Um, these more tokens. One of the popsicle movie tokens. Uh, this one I can't see. Oh, that's the that's the Thomas Jefferson token, Declaration of Independence signer. Joe got a Mercury dime and the really cool Washington quarter that's like all mangled up. To a shot. Yeah, but it looks super cool. I love that. And possibly a Sterling spoon bowl. Joe's gonna test it when he gets home. Yep. PA Pirate Paul. Like oh no, I'm sorry. This is uh, Dog Tag Doug. <laughs> D Doug is very lenient with the stuff he puts up. <laughs> There's a spoon handle. Uh, Doug also got a marble. It's clear. A couple of bottles. Uh, don't know what that is. This might be a... Um, oh, this is the thing we think there might be a little man in. Yeah. Or, or yeah, something. Man. Copper spoon. Uh, possible Tootsie toy. Um, this cool thing. <laughs> some sort of old horse tack. Uh, this might be the top of like an old gas light or something yeah. like that. Uh, this is a hook of some sort. Yep. yep it's bra it's brass and it really rang up. Oh, nice. well, there we go. It's brass. That, oh, that looks like a reflector, it looks yep. like a bicycle reflector. Yep. Uh, maybe a fence post. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> it's a sink drain. Looks like Doug's got one, three, four, five, six wheat pennies. He did get the advertising thimble. It said, um, I forget, National uh, Tangerine Growers Association yeah, or something. Whatever. And he got a beautiful barber quarter. Second year, you said, Joe, 1893? Yep. yep, second year. And that's in great shape. Best corner of the day, I think. A couple of bits and bobs, uh, the lock plate, buckle. The advertising thimble. I did say that, but I'll say it again. But uh, Doug's got everything on the board, everything but the kitchen sink drain. Oh, wait, there yeah, it there is. is. <laughs> He's got a little bit of all of it on there. But uh, great day. And, of course, if you guys want to have a great day, shoot me an email. I can help figure out what you need so you can get out and try out this incredible hobby for yourself. Paul, what's my email? It's uh, quarterhoarder at gmail.com. No, no. Joe, what's my email? I don't know. Jeff, my email? QuarterHorderYahoo.com. There we go. The oh. new guy gets it. QuarterHorderYahoo.com. But I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Doug, it's the hobby of what? Champion. You know it, baby. <laughs> so otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. See you on the next one. Later. <laughs>